Hey there, friends. It is me, Mike Harmon, or HL Mod Tech, and I've got another Tinkercad for Teachers lesson for you. This is just a lesson starter, so check it out. Let's start by creating a new design, and I'm going to call this the Volume Challenge. I'm always going to rename them, and I'm going to put Volume, and I'm going to put MDH on it. Teachers, this is where you get a chance to play. You could pick different numbers and challenge your kids to make different items. I am going to work with a box for my starter, and it is 20 millimeters on a side. I'm going to show you a trick where we hold shift and drag one corner, and then I want you to type 10 in the box and press enter, so we end up with a centimeter cube. Just because it looks nice, I'm going to line it up with the grid, so we know that that is one cubic centimeter. So my idea for the lesson is simply to challenge the students to see what cool thing they can make using a total of 20 cubic centimeters. So commands that are useful, like duplicate, I'm going to do control Z because that one I accidentally stretched it. This would give me two cubic centimeters. If your kids are handy, they can take away one measurement, cut it in half, and that would be half of a cubic centimeter. They can change their colors to make the item look however they want. If they start stretching these things, that would mess it up and make it more work. If you want to allow them to make it more work on themselves, you can do that. Easy shapes that they should use are the wedge. Notice it comes in with those same 20 by 20 by 20 measurements. I'm gonna simply shrink it and type in that number 10 so it's 10 on every side. Remember that I was holding shift when I shrunk it, so that way it changed all of the numbers. So right here, I have got a total of two cubic centimeters. If this is your first time using Tinkercad, this is the lift command. This is the view cube. I find the view cube is easier to lift with when you look at it from a corner, and then you can simply snap it to the location you want. If you've got three items you can just touch the three items uh, with a selection box and you can use a line and then you can center them in all the different planes I don't want this green one to be in the center though I want it to be along this edge just because that's what I'm choosing so I just drew a box that touched both of those I'm gonna hit a line again and I'm gonna move it to this spot I'm gonna use the arrow keys to nudge it out so you can see I'm just pulling it 10 clicks. Uh, that's one millimeter per click. Since I'm working with a 10 millimeter shape, it's smarter to move down to the five millimeter nudge so it's easier to build my cool creations. Depending on the level of students you teach, you could have them use cylinders, cones, uh, pyramids, polygons, whatever you chose that they could prove at the end that they had the correct volume of. I think I'm going to turn mine into a ship and I'm going to use the rotate command. Notice if I move a long ways from the blue shape, it goes one degree at a time. If I stay close to the shape, it uses those nice 22 and a half degree measurements. I'm going to hit the letter D and it'll drop it right to this work plane and then I'm going to move it out to the front so it is the nose of my ship. I'm going to do control D to make a second one. I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it over two clicks and then I'm going to show you the awesome flip tool that lets me flip it so that it would be the bow of my ship. I don't know what I'm going to do with this piece at the moment. I'm going to just raise it out of the way. I'm going to take my ship and I'm going to do control D on this red piece so there's two of them. nudge it into place. I accidentally sent it across the other side. I'm going to select both these by holding, shift, and clicking both. And I'm going to do control D and move them into place. Control D and control D and control D and control D. At this point, I've got 6 and 6 is 12, 13 centimeters cubed out of the 20, plus this little half. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to rotate him 90 degrees. You can type the 90, and then I'm going to nudge them to the sides. Notice it doesn't line up quite where I want, so I'm going to go back to the 1 millimeter move and snap them to the location I'm thinking of. Need one more to make them perfect, and then I'm going to nudge them up to the front as well. I want these pieces to all stay separate, 
So I'm going to use a cool technique called locking. Right now I'm dragging a rectangle that touches all the bottom pieces of my ship. You can see all 12. And if I hit lock on the lock editing, they no longer can move. Now if I grab this green piece and I choose to align it, when I align it to this corner, it snaps right to that edge. This piece I must not have locked. I will move it back to the other side. I've still got it set to the five millimeter moves, so I can just snap it twice to get it to its right spot. I'm gonna lock those two parts in place as well. And then I need this one to line up with those first two blocks. So once again, I'm drawing a selection rectangle that grabs the three shapes and I can do a line so it goes just like this. So I want to make a rail on my little ship. So I'm going to do control D, move it back. And here's a neat thing because that just got recorded and I haven't touched anything else. The next time I do control D, it does it all the way across. I'm going to hold down shift and select all of those. And I'm going to do control D and I'm going to move them to the other side and forward two clicks. So my ship is looking a little bit silly, but it's my ship and doggone it, I can do it however I want. Quick count of how much I've got in my ship here. Remember it's six, so that's 12, 13. This would be 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I've got exactly one cubic centimeter of my ship left. And I think I'm going to use that for my bow. I'm going to unlock those for a second. I am going to duplicate them. I'm going to take the new one and I'm going to raise it up two clicks. And boom. It is not pretty. But it would meet the specifications that I gave you. Where it had to be built with individual pieces. And it equals a total of 20 cubic centimeters. Hopefully you can see there's a lot of room for this to be adjusted. If your kids are talented enough, you could do a quarter of a cube by shrinking these and making them thinner. Any way that they can prove the math and demonstrate they understand the concept as they build something awesome is a pretty cool project in my eyes. Friends, if you found this awesome, please hit that like button if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion. Please put it down below if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.